The Clats of Nehalem don't have many of their stories left. Really, the main story is the creation story because it tells of our birth, of how we ended up here. And it has always played a very important role um, to all tribes. I think the first person that I really recognized that it was a creation story um, was probably my mom. I heard it over and over and over again, and it just kind of sunk in what it meant or what it is. Long, long ago, when Old Man Southwind was traveling north, he met a powerful woman that was a giant. You give me some food, I'm very hungry. I have no food, but here is a net. You can catch some food for yourself if you wish. So Old Man Southwind dragged the net to the ocean, and with it, caught a whale. Taking out his knife, he was about to cut the whale and take out the blubber. Do not cut it with a knife, and do not cut it crossways. Take a sharp shell and split it down the back. But Southwind did not take to heart what the giant woman was saying. He cut the fish crossways with his knife and began to cut off some blubber. Things changed quickly and right before his eyes, the whale turned into a huge bird. It was so big that when it flew into the air, it hid the sun and the noise of its wings shook the earth. It was Thunderbird. Thunderbird flew to the east and sat on top of Saddle Mountain, near the mouth of the Columbia River. There it laid a nest full of eggs. The woman followed Thunderbird to the nest and waited until Thunderbird flew west to find some food. She ran to the nest and grabbed all of the eggs. They didn't look good, so she threw them down the mountainside. As the eggs rolled down the mountain, they ended up on both sides of the lower Columbia River and Oregon coast and from each of the eggs a tribe was born. The Clatsip, Nehalem, Tillamook, Willapaw, Kathlamet, Wakayakum, Clatskanai, and Lower Chinook. When Thunderbird came back to the nest with no eggs, the powerful creature became angry and flew to Southwind. Thunderbird and I agreed that we must find the giant woman and seek revenge. We chased her for days, but she had vanished. Each year, during the coldest time of the year, you can hear Thunderbird and Southwind return to hunt for the giant woman. And that is how the tribes of Northwest Oregon and Southwest Washington were created. And that is why we never cut the first salmon across the back. We know that we should follow the ways of our ancestor and cut the salmon how he cut the whale. If the salmon is cut the wrong way, the salmon will cease to run. Always, even to this day, we slip the first salmon down the back lengthwise. Storytelling is really important to carry on the traditions and just the existence of the peoples. The knowledge that the people who hear the story, who are from that story, who rolled down the mountain and came out of those eggs know that they are descendants of Thunderbird. And Thunderbird is our higher power, I guess, if you will. Um, he's not a human character, he's not of this world. And so within the creation story, there's just so many different pieces that are just so necessary for our people to know. Knowing that we were born on a mountain, that, our, that Thunderbird is our ancestor, just those little details, even though it could be said it's just a story or it's just a myth, it's a lot more than that, it's our existence. I hope this story goes on for many more generations because I think it's one of the most important ones. I don't see any reason why, if I know it, if my family knows it, um, that it wouldn't just keep being passed on. It's really important that it's not lost because if that's lost, then the whole tribe basically is lost. It's really important to have that idea of where you came from, not just from your mom and dad, but where you really came from.